first video I uploaded on this channel was the Gopher CPS 3205C review and teardown. If you watched that video, you saw how the ammeter display on the power supply is not accurate on the lower ranges sub 500 milliamps. A user suggested in the comment section a calibration method that he used on his own power supply. Since then, I have confirmed with Gopher and they sent me the same method by email. So, in this video I'm going to try and calibrate the ammeter and voltmeter on my power supply. For that I'll be using my Kitley 175 four and a half digit multimeter that you can see here on the bottom. Although it's an old multimeter it is spot on when compared to newer more recently calibrated ones and it's a really good piece of equipment that I enjoy using in my lab. So I have my multimeter connected through these leads to the output of the power supply. To enter the calibration you need to follow this procedure. You set the volts amps selector switch to the amps position. Then you need to push the adjust knob while turning the power supply on. At this point the uh, power supply display will show push off this might not uh, show very well on camera because uh, I have some bright lighting uh, coming in on the front panel of the power supply and the LEDs might look uh, faded but it is saying push off the second step is to press the on off button one time and the lock button two times so on off one time and lock button two times and now the unit will go into voltage calibration mode. As a note, you have to calibrate the voltage with no load. I only have the voltmeter connected to the output of the power supply, so that is uh, high impedance. The voltmeter display shows 1.00 and the ammeter display shows 001. Now you have to adjust the knob to set the output voltage to 1.005 volts I'm not sure why they chose this exact value. Um, I mean, you are basically adjusting for the one volt scale. So why they they went for the 1.005 volt uh, figure? I don't know. Maybe they think maybe they take into account some internal circuitry. I'm not sure. But as you can already see, the voltmeter on the power supply is quite accurate and I can see 1.005 on the uh, multimeter so I don't think I will be adjusting that next if you are happy with the measurement you press the on off button to calibrate the output voltage for different ranges so I press the on off button once and it went to the 10 volt mark now you have to calibrate it for 10.00 volts. So let me try to adjust that. Okay, I have 10.00 volts. Now you press the on off button again and it jumps to the 30 volt mark. Once again, you adjust it. So we get 30.00 volts and now if you press the on off button again it will go into uh, current calibration mode and right now you have to connect the electronic load to the output terminal of the power supply so the unit must operate in constant current mode. The ammeter displays 1.00 and the voltmeter displays 0001. According to the calibration procedure for the ammeter. I have my constant current load connected. Uh, the power supply is operating in constant current mode and uh, it is in the 1 amp calibration range. Now you have to adjust the output of the power supply to set the constant current to 1.000 amps. So let's try to do that. It seems that every time I adjust the uh, output current uh, calibration to be 1.00 amps, 
it slowly drifts and I'm not sure if that's due to the, the power supply or due to my uh, uh, adjustable dummy load not sure but it's something I have to live with because of the limitation of the equip equipment I'm using next I'm going to move the multimeter on the 10 amp range because the next calibration mark is at 5 amps alright and now if I press the on off button the power supply should jump to the 5 amp calibration I need to adjust my dummy load Okay, so the power supply is once again in constant current mode and I need to adjust for 5.00 amps. I think one of the problems of this uh, calibration is that it only has these two uh, ranges for calibrating the ammeter, the 1 amp and the 5 amp. It should have been better if it also had a 500 milliamp calibration range. Okay, and now I have to press the on off button once again to complete the calibration. Okay, and the power supply automatically exited the calibration procedure and turned its output off. I will post the entire procedure in the description of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.